So far, we've been attacked by multiple toys in Poppy Playtime, but what if we were the ones watching the fight? Imagine you're going to a boxing match and four antagonists are in the ring. You're betting money on who you think will win and you're keeping a close eye on their stats. Between Huggy, Mommy, Miss Delight, and Catnap, who do you think would be the last one standing? To make the decision a bit clearer, we can produce four strategies and judge them based on each one, strength, intelligence, stealth, and speed. Now, the prototype won't be included in the match because all we know is that he would beat the apps. So without further ado, let's jump right into the fight. When it comes to strength, it might be one of the easier divisions to evaluate. Part of this can be done by looking at the estimated heights of each character. According to the wiki, Huggy Wuggy is around 18 feet or 5.4 meters. And although Catnap's height isn't confirmed, we can assume that he's around the same, more or less. Mommy is about 6 feet or 2 meters when crouching, and Miss Delight seems to be around the height of an adult male. We know this by looking at the hour of joy footage when the teachers chase down an employee in the halls. So it would make sense that Huggy and Catnap have the most strength because they're the biggest creatures. We see this at the end of Huggy's vent chase. Once we escape the vent and enter the catwalks, the door automatically shuts behind us, but soon after, Huggy knocks it down. And this isn't just a regular door. It looks like it's made of steel, and it only opens and closes at the command of a button, which is attached to the security system. The amount of strength that it took to not only open the door, but break it off its hinges is huge. For reference, a hollow metal door is about 106 pounds. So imagine how much force it would take to break open an industrial door that is sealed shut. And with Catnap, we see his strength in the beginning of chapter 3 when he opens the metal hatch to throw us into the incinerator. And while not as strong as Huggy, it does show us that he has a good amount of strength due to the fact that he opens it with one hand. Now, when it comes to Mommy, there is a scene in the Hour of Joy where she picks up multiple employees and drops them from a lethal height. So with that being said, she probably has a good amount of strength. And for Miss Delight, in the beginning of her chase, she breaks the giant machine with her bare hands and the battery flies out. Now, she did use Barb to help her, but despite her being small in size, her Hulk-like tendencies may be able to compensate. While Huggy and Mr. Light clear in the strength category, intelligence might be their downfall. Part of defeating your opponent is strategy and coming up with a solid plan. Now, none of these characters are inherently dumb. Miss Delight is literally a teacher, so she has knowledge on many different subjects. However, she has clearly lost her mind during the Hour of Joy, so her desire to feast could cloud her judgment. Other opponents could easily attack her during this moment of weakness. And when it comes to Huggy, he doesn't speak and is simple-minded compared to the other toys. When he gets hungry, he doesn't seem to think straight. At the end of his chase in chapter 1, he throws himself directly at us, but doesn't pay attention to the crate above him, which would ultimately cause him to die. Mommy, however, might be a bit more strategic when it comes to her plans. She's coherent and very well spoken and planned out a series of tests for us to see if we would survive. She's very methodical in her approach, but her willingness to play with her prey might be her downfall. She has a lot of patience, which might not work out in the long run for a bloodthirsty Huggy that would attack her right away. The same can be said with Catnap as Ollie mentions that he likes to hunt his prey before he eats them. However, that's not to say that Catnap wouldn't change his approach based on the situation at hand. Essentially, he doesn't really care about anyone else. 
He only cares about being a faithful servant of the prototype. So his will to survive might exceed others. It's his driven attitude that really stands out about him. Another area that Catnap excels in is stealth. Sometimes fighting your opponent isn't just about attacking head on, but rather sneaking up to them from the shadows and going for a silent kill. This is a hard skill to master that requires patience and strategicness. All throughout the game, we've seen Catnap sneaking around the factory, creepily observing our every move. A lot of times, we don't even realize that he's there. And this makes sense since he's a cat as they're silent creatures that can move with swiftness. Mommy Longlegs is definitely second place when it comes to her stealth though. Her voice is very calm and soothing, showing that she knows how and when to be quiet. And at the end or beginning of a mini game, she almost comes out of nowhere and gives us her mini monologue. It's safe to conclude that her legs allow for limberness and help her move quietly. The same can be said for Miss Delight though. First of all, she has a nasty limp, which would make mobility hard for her. Plus, she's way too psycho and impatient to go for a stealthy kill, and it's just not in her nature. You could say the same for Huggy, who makes a spectacle when he tries to kill us. In chapter one, he set off the emergency alert, which was super loud and not sneaky at all. He even appeared right in front of us in the make a friend hallway instead of doing a sneak attack. But regardless, Huggy is still stealthier than Miss Delight. There's instances where he follows us throughout the factory before chasing us. He also fits into small places despite his gigantic size. And since we're trash talking Miss Delight, we might as well move on to the next category, speed. One of her many limitations is that she can only move when we don't look at her, so enemies could easily attack her. If we're considering Miss Delight before the chapter 3 update though, then she would only be able to move when there's light. So as long as the electricity doesn't go out during the fight, she should be good. But the official red light green light mechanic would definitely slow her down. We see that she can run pretty fast right before we crush her under the door. But if she can't do that without limitations, then what's the point? While Huggy seems to be slow in his opening jump scare, we know that he has the ability to sprint. In the restricted disappearance VHS tape, he was able to escape from the facility and multiple playtime employees. Mommy, however, might actually be slower. During her chase sequences, she doesn't seem to move all that fast, especially during the scene right before the grinder where she does her crawling animation. Sure, it looks creepy, but it's just not fast enough. On the other hand, we've seen how fast Catnap can go when he snatches up a small bunzo from the counselor's office. If you blink, you can almost miss it. Catnap might be the fastest of the four actually. And now that we've gone over all four categories, we have to make sure to observe any unique skills or traits that the opponents bring to the table. And unfortunately, Miss Delight is just folding right now. Huggy, for example, has very sharp teeth and can tear his prey apart in seconds. Of course, Miss Delight also has big teeth. They are closer to human teeth, flat and rectangular, that matches more with an herbivore or omnivore diet. She wouldn't be able to successfully injure her prey by just biting into them. While Mommy doesn't have teeth, she does have long limbs that can stretch far and wide. We see this during her chase scene as we go through the pipes. There's almost no limit to her extendability and this gives her the opportunity to access small spaces as well as reaching for opponents who have gained distance on her. Mommy also has her own little army of toys to back her up. In chapter two, she got Bunzo, the mini Huggies, and PJ to follow her every command. And we know that after we beat the mini games, she ended up killing both Bunzo and the mini Huggies 
so she is not one to be messed with. Cadnap also has his army of the smiling critters, which can be very beneficial when it comes to distractions. But Cadnap's biggest flex is no doubt the red smoke. He can generate a lot of this stuff from his own body and not be affected by it. The red smoke could put his opponents in a deep sleep or make them hallucinate, drastically affecting their performance. Making them drowsy could give Cadnap a chance to attack. And if they see multiples like we did in the boss battle, it would be extremely confusing for them. And with that, I think we have our final lineup. The first to be eliminated would be none other than Miss the Light. Despite being extremely book smart and having a strong urge for hunger, her lack of sanity greatly limits her decision making, which would cause her in the long run. She'd be more vulnerable to being tricked by smarter opponents. Additionally, her red light green light mechanic also greatly limits how fast she can move. She'd be the first out of the ring, easily. The next enemy to be eliminated would unfortunately be Huggy. While you might disagree with me on this, hear me out. There's no question that Huggy would put up a major fight, making it a very close match. He's gigantic and possesses immense strength. He can also be fast and stealthy when he wants to be. His sharp teeth not only intimidates, but also rips enemies into pieces. Where Huggy falls short, however, is how and when he decides to use these skills. While he demonstrated smart hunting methods by watching us throughout the factory, once he got hungry, he abandoned all intelligent tactics to come straight for us. And this is ultimately why he got defeated by a crate at the end of the game. He wasn't paying attention and lets his hunger get to him. Huggy has potential for sure, but he has to learn to make smarter decisions in the long run. And now we have two left, Mommy and Catnap. These characters are probably the smartest in the group and demonstrates a lot of useful skills such as strategy, mobility, and solid attack methods. They also have unique skills that would be beneficial, while mommy's limbs allow her to be a lot more versatile. But there's one thing that holds her back her lack of peripheral vision. In chapter two, during the first time we encounter a hostile mommy, we use our grab pack to swing up to a hiding spot in the ceiling. She passes by it on the ground multiple times, yet doesn't look up for some reason. We do a similar thing the second time by hiding in a fireplace, but she doesn't notice that we go in, nor does she try to open the door. Despite her long limbs being able to catch people in tight spaces, she doesn't seem to notice when people are in those tight spaces. And because of this, the winner is Catnap. He pretty much has everything, intelligence, stealth, speed, the red smoke, and the will to survive. He could easily outsmart each and every one of these enemies and attack them in unconventional ways. After all, Poppy says that Catnap is the last enemy that the prototype put in our way. So he's definitely special. Caught me biased, but there's a reason why Catnap was saved for chapter three, the best chapter. But who do you think would win this match? Maybe another toy entirely? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and click on this video right here.